The Rock Snobs Dictionary. Entry number 402, Drake, Nick. Willowy, dulcet English singer-songwriter and perennial subject of rock snob fascination, despite the fact that he's been dead since 1974. Nick Drake's reputation rests upon three exquisitely wrought albums of hushed chamberish folk pop that were released in his short lifetime. By passing away when and how he did, at the age of 26 from an overdose of antidepressants, Drake furnished rock snobs with that most romantic and seductive of narratives, that of the beautiful loser. The sensitive artist, tragically underappreciated in his time, failed too soon to revel in the acclaim that would eventually come his way. See also Parsons, Graham, Buckley, Tim, and Buckley, Jeff. Nick Drake's album sold poorly while he was alive, making him to rock snobs their own personal discovery, a delicate flower plucked from rock's secret garden. It helped that he was as pretty as his music. I remember some girl spending ages making a cushion for him. That he was a posh kid who had attended Cambridge, that he came from a mossy rural town called Tanworth in Arden, and that he was frequently photographed standing dolefully among trees. I saw Nick Drake. By the 1980s and 90s, Drake was regularly being name-checked by such musicians as Robin Hitchcock and R.E.M.'s Peter Buck. Some rock snobs bristled at their secret going public. And when Volkswagen used the title track from Drake's album Pink Moon to sell Cambrios, there was no turning back. And our next contender, please, your chosen subject. The life of music of Nick Drake. Nick Drake had turned into a rock snob cottage industry. And his slender body of work is now perpetually up for reappraisal, re-reappraisal, and re-re-reappraisal. The Nick Drake phenomenon has propelled an ongoing rock snob search for the next undiscovered gem. With wistful, forgotten albums by such people you've never heard of as Bill Fay, David Ackles, and Judy Sill, newly exposed to daylight. One hard luck Drake contemporary actually hung on long enough to experience the great reappraisal while still alive. Thanks to the documentary Searching for Sugar Man, the singer-songwriter Rodriguez has played Coachella and returned to a robust touring schedule. Rodriguez's success is a painful reminder to the rock snob of what might have been for Nick Drake. But then there's always this consolation. Rodriguez now belongs to everyone, while Drake indubitably belongs to the rock snob.